Medang Province is playing host to the Mamasa Regional Think Tank Quiz Challenge, convening at the Divine Bridge University. Participating schools from Leh and Medang paraded for the brief opening ceremony along with the invited guests. The Medang Division of Education representative welcomed the initiative and in bringing the show to Medang for the Mamasa Regional Challenge. Although West and East Sipic provinces couldn't make it, he said, they will be well represented here. He said the show is supported by the Education Department as it's one of the objective of also providing learning through educational programs on television. This program really and that's what the Department of Education is doing throughout the nation in terms of the UPTV programs in our schools. So we believe this program will assist and enhance the confidence in our students in terms of leadership, the courage, and whatever they have learned, they can openly, confidently present themselves in this activity. Uh, it's a one activity which supports our students in terms of their learning through their presentations. So leadership, having leadership, having confidence and courage in such gathering like that, it's a good stepping stone for the for the time to come. The two days of the TTQ Mamasa Regional Challenge will be staged here at the SVD Memorial Auditorium. And in welcoming TTQ to the Divine Wood University, Professor Pamela Nolan, Vice President Academic, was delighted that DWU was chosen to be the host venue. She said she believes in education and that such initiatives are alternative ways of learning. The radio director of NBC Medang said the NBC through Kundutu was proud to associate itself with TTQ for the TV show as it believes in delivering educational programs through its broadcasting networks. We are so excited that these uh, uh, shows come to Medang, especially in the future, and uh, especially in Happy and Medang. And on behalf of my managing director and the board, Chairman and uh, Mr. Marco Capera, and the senior officer of the NBC, as well as Kevin, and others who are involved in this. Uh, supporting this big uh, or good program on TV, like uh, the Vice President says, it's very educational, at the same time it's also fun, 
and it's all about uh, what many of us do in radio and TV. It's about thinking and talking. So think and talk, and you'll be okay. Thank you very much. It is also okay for me to say that this is the first show in the South Pacific locally produced, apart from watching shows from Australia, New Zealand, and from America. So it is in fact there is never a show like this in Fiji right now as I speak, in Samoa, in Tonga, in Kiribati, in Tuvalu, anywhere across the Pacific. So we, we do have comments from those countries. Who have come to the country, they, they watch us from by the state, you know, they are here for meetings or other things that I don't know. But they say, oh, there's an issue in this country tomorrow. So this place is going to fill the capacity. In Boroka, we had 500 seats, we filled it 600 on the opening line. So I'm sure there will be a lot of people here, you know, students who are have fun, and uh, there will be a lot of excitement. The main thing that we are promoting here is content. Right. It helps your cognitive process in how you understand things, your data is simply fast on your feet and so forth. So a lot of things that you've learned, you haven't learned, will come through. I'm sure you will enjoy the show. And we we derive on one main concept. Before I sit down, let me say this. We have uh, we have an objective or our aim, a goal that we normally try on is the PTQ integrates learning with any, right? Using ICT. Right. So we, we sort of coming together here. We're integrating learning with any and I I missed out another idea here, entertainment. Right. So learning any entertainment using ICT resource. So it is just an informal way to still deliver education, but we don't waste your time. When you come in and play on the show, we reward you with a bit of you know, just appreciation, token of appreciation by giving you prizes and then we entertain you at the same time. This is a new approach to learning now. Professor will agree with me now that kids today, kids today are sick and tired of sitting in the classroom, listening, listening, listening. I've been teaching for 12 years, and this is one thing I find, that when I talk, talk, talk a lot, kids, they get to sleep. So I need to find a way to do some, something in audiovisual, put some sound. If I say there's a volcanic eruption, they want to hear the what? Eruption! All right? They want to hear it explode, not just listen to my voice. Because some of my, some of our teachers, our boys are like, there is a volcanic eruption. <laughs> they don't express the eruption. All right. So that's what the kids want to hear today. And then they are not only content with that, but they want to see the men are growing up of the vent. If you just tell them, oh, there, there's some, you know, something running down the hill, they don't believe that. So they say, show me. That's why they have mobile phones like this, where if you, if you don't show them, they go to Google and they will find it for themselves. That's why as a teacher, I find it challenging to, to teach in a modern day situation like this, where kids now want to see. In our days, they only listen, they write, but now they want to see to believe it. So I, I, I see that you know, this show is one way that I'm trying to take learning out, make it a little bit exciting, if I put sort of some pictures, give some sounds, exciting to them, then I'll be happy at the end of the day as a teacher going home. Not as a TV presenter, but as a teacher delivering learning and still achieving a profession. Thank you very much. Following the opening ceremony, a quiz cafe was set up in town to recruit participants for the open category. We are here in Medang town. It is absolutely uh, bizarre. There's a whole heap of crowd here, and um, it's just amazing. Uh, the whole town have moved in with students all the way from Robe, Medang, they're all here. And you could see around the background here, people are here competing right now for the open category. From here, whoever that passes through here, who score 100%, they'll be the ones featuring tonight on our show at the Divine Lord University. So there's a whole lot here. Uh, we are all here just doing this. It's getting exciting. Six o'clock tonight, it's when these guys come on. So we're so happy to be here, TTQ in Medang. It's an absolute cracker. We are so happy. I'm giving you this opportunity now. We've got another next one and one hour remaining. And we're making open category recruitment. Open category recruitment. All right. Open category recruitment. I'm open to you. No live show room tonight. And you might win four hundred kina or show room club. You might be the lucky one to win this five hundred kina. We're going to make the sixth one. So now I'm about to give you now. 
Six shows will be broadcast from Medang featuring primary, secondary, tertiary and open categories. Uh, in the past, we don't uh, experience this kind of uh, things happening today, but it's good to, because uh, it enhances the learning capability for the student, which uh, broaden their mindset and it's helping Papua to uh, develop in a new ways, especially in education and uh, advance their studies uh, for the good of PNC. Uh, I'm I'm really confident. Uh, I hope my team is gonna do a great uh, challenge tonight and with also with other schools. And, uh, like especially in Medang. Wow. Okay. We'll get him on board. All right. At last, we, 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 after two hours, we, we had someone with 100%. All right. Um, for me, I'm, for me, I'm a master because this time I'm a master. I don't know how to school or I don't know how to participate. I don't know how to I'm a master. I don't know how to do I'm a master. Great twice, walk away. If you are not being, you know, I believe we've got a consolation prize to give most of the show. But more to that. I put it by one to one. Okay, uh, I am Monica Samol Mel, and um, I'm from Lake. Uh, coming to Medang with the Lake team for the Momase Regional. I, I would think that this is a very good opportunity for Momase and uh, for generally Papua New Guineans to partake in this quiz to test our knowledge, uh, get our students to um, get into reading to find out information and this thing this is a great opportunity for that. The first show on Monday will feature primary schools from Leh and Medang. Yeah!